Okay, so this is Pat Gozi recording my YouTube channel for uh, using information effectively in philosophy. Sorry, my computer mic doesn't work that well, so I have to use this rock band microphone. So, our first article we read was on intelligence, and there are two different kinds, the fixed and malleable. And uh, basically all my channels I'm going to relate to music on all my posts because I love music, like it's all I do. It's pretty much I play guitar like in a band trying to do that professionally like here over there. My amp, like the light's kind of bright. My wall of guitars. So yeah, that's basically all I do. So I'm going to relate this to music as uh, my first year of college and second year of college. I took guitar lessons. And my first year of college, I did classical guitar lessons, which really, to me, was a much more fixed sort of intelligence. Like, the way it went through was we had to play exactly what was on the page. You couldn't stray. There's no variations or anything of what you could do. So I would, like, I would practice it, go through, get it as good as I thought it was. Like, I thought I'd get it to the point where they, I thought that's what the teacher would want from me. But then I'd get there, and there would always be slight, like, minute things that I did wrong or that needed improvement. So it was always, like, going back, and, like, we'd work on, like, this whole semester, like, a few pieces just over and over and over, because you could never get it quite perfect enough to, on the page, or at least I couldn't. So um, there was really no praise with it it was always okay you played this but how can you make it better like this is what you did better like this is what you need to do to make it better you need to do this part here and this part here it was there, there was really no like oh i like how you played this part because it was very do exactly what's on the page there's no interpretation to it whereas once i started to take jazz guitar lessons um it really was more malleable of an intelligence it blossomed a lot more for me because you could look at a sheet of paper with all the chord changes and like the head and everything on it and just be like okay I can interpret this however I want like he would give me a sheet of paper with the chords and I could look at it I could play those chords and he'd be, that would be perfectly fine or I could do some sort of like uh, other interpretation where I could use like a um, like switch it out a tritone variation or like take a seventh chord make it a ninth eleventh thirteenth like do whatever i want like switch a minor seventh for like a six or something like anything like that so you could substitute whatever you wanted for it and the same went with uh scales and like what you would solo over like okay say for some simple example say you're doing like playing something in like c blues well you could play a C minor blues over it, switch it up to a relative minor, A minor blues. If you wanted to stick to major, you could do like C major and do any like mode you want, depending on the chord, like do some D Dorian, F uh, Lydian, G mix Lydian, whatever you want. So that it was really, that was a lot more malleable because my teacher would always tell me what he really liked about what I played. Like when we did a solo, he'd be like, yeah, like that part, that sounded really tasty. Like, that was a line of his. He would say stuff down to Tasty. But um, it was just, I, I feel like I learned a lot more and grew a lot more from having the more malleable intellig intelligence experience. Because it was just like, it wasn't like, it. I never felt like if I didn't get it perfect, I would never get it. It was, like, all very up to you. Like, you kind of went at your own pace like I, I learned especially I learned a lot more from it because it was there was so much to that could encompass it there's so many different variations you could do different uh, interpretations just the way you thought the song should go so I feel like that those really relate to the two types of intelligences so uh, that's it for this YouTube podcast channel thing whatever so um yeah, I'll see you guys later.